Hello guys. So I have been using Hyperland and stuff for a while now. I'm still enjoying it. Um, as you can tell, still in the same shirt as the last video that I posted. If you didn't see that one, I'll link it up above. You can go watch it. But um, I mean, it's not really related to the, what I'm going to be talking about right now, but why not? Um, something happens in brave sometimes in hyperland probably other wayland window managers but just gonna move it and it fixes itself but anyway um oh yeah okay i may have hit the pin before i started recording this and i'm not editing or anything so enjoy but yeah we're talking about owncast and i have really enjoyed it uh Setting it up was actually really fun and only a hassle when it came to SSL uh, certificates and stuff like that for it um, and getting that all set up. But that's just because I know nothing about it at all. So uh, and now Buddy's going to start growling. Um, so but yeah, it was actually really simple itself to get set up. And if I go to their website, which I, which I do list on mine which you can find this link down in the description but uh if you come over here they do have a quick in like install guide uh in the documentation um like installation here and it's super simple uh you can also install a site js which is also very easy and then you know they cover you know the ssl http proxies and setting them up properly so it's really very simple to get set up on any v vps so uh if you see that bookmark there i use light sale from amazon uh, or aws but really in all honesty you can use any vps provider i'm only using light sale because they have like a whole bunch of free like three month offers on uh, instances or droplets or whatever you want to call your vps from whichever provider so yeah that's what I use right now. And the whole point of it is just because it's cheap. And uh, you can host your own live streaming platform for super cheap with Owncast. And setting it up and doing all that stuff is not too hard. Pretty much anyone with a basic understanding of the web and uh, setting up a, a server uh, or if you don't, if you're not really sure about how to set up a VPS, you can just go watch a 15 minute tutorial and you'll, you'll be good enough. Uh, so you just install it and then you're given an admin panel and then you can set up your actual page. Uh, I'm not going to go through the admin panel because all of the settings in there are very simple and straightforward. The only thing that I will say that I've had trouble with is, uh, the follow feature for the social on Foston and Mastodon. Apparently it's not letting people actually follow me. Uh, it's saying that I have to uh, allow them, but I have it set. So they should just automatically join and it's not working, but um, I don't know. Maybe I need to like refresh my cache or something and check it out. But that's a problem for another day. Every in every other way, this works just fine so when i'm gone you'll see a notice here and i set this up and it uses markdown to uh, to do everything so it's it's very simple uh you could see i've got my own title um my own funny weird uh description a whole bunch of tags my social links it'll show followers and then you have your about section like you would on twitch again all in markdown so i've got it you know all filled out and if i was to live stream here which i can do i'll switch over and come over here start the stream come back over and switch over and if i refresh uh it should there we go come in so i've got it muted and you can see the stream is going up just fine it works it's good uh so yeah and when you when you load in you're given 
a name and you can change your name, do a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, but there's no accounts and no, no, nothing like that. And as you can see, someone's chatting, laughing DNA. What's up? Uh, just testing and recording a video. So you can see chat, chat works. Really, in all honesty, Owncast is a fantastic platform. I'm I'm really enjoying using it. And it makes it makes using something like Twitch better because it's not Twitch, if you know what I'm talking about. So um and for everyone who's on like Discord, I'm pretty sure pretty sure Owncast sends out multiple messages every time. I go live or it sends out one message every single time I go live on discord. So you're going to end up getting a lot of notifications. Cause I, I, this is the second take of my video cause I'm not editing videos anymore. I'm trying to be efficient. Not really just lazy, but yeah. So owncast is a really cool platform, uh, service application thing definitely recommend it and i do want to go ahead and say i don't think it's something that's going to end up taking over the streaming space and i don't think that's the intention of it either the whole goal is just to provide something cool where you control your content and you know there's not monetization efforts just everywhere you know if you want to monetize your content you do it your way you get sponsors uh you know insert those in however you see fit and if you don't want to do that you can do it like the method i do which is like the same way that like dt and most linux content creators do it just supported by the people who watch us over on patreon so uh yeah, it's kind of nice. So I I don't really think there's anything more to say. I'm very I'm very much enjoying it. I'm going to be doing some gaming streams over here, and probably doing that pretty soon. Uh, the only thing that I will say though is I am going to start doing uh, a podcast where I just talk to you guys. And one of the things that I want to do is just get people on board. So if you, if you want to come on for a podcast slash live stream, we're going to record it live. I'll just talk with one person from the community at large who wants to, and uh, we're obviously going to get together and talk beforehand and make sure it's like, you know, going to be fun. Like, you know, whoever's there is like good, not just good at talking, but you know, interesting and we get along good but yeah just gonna bring on whoever wants to come on but you know i mean i'm not gonna accept everyone i mean if if someone who's like wants to come on but they also you know only speak mandarin sorry no uh but yeah uh if you enjoyed this video if you're excited about owncast let me know down in the comments thank you very much for watching this video if you want to support me over on patreon please go do it and one of the things that i'm planning on doing for patreon uh, i don't know if i completely messed up talking about this but i i do want to go ahead and say for everyone over on patreon uh i need to be doing more over there so what i think i'm gonna do is every week i'm just gonna make a post asking for suggestions and every week we'll do a Patreon suggested video. So if you want me to cover something, we'll do it there. The The only thing that I will say, though, is it does have to be applications for Linux, not different distros. Not interested in trying di different distros, but applications, yes. Recommend applications. And, uh, yeah, that'll be kind of my way of giving back to the patrons. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely hit that like and subscribe on your way out. And let me just go ahead and try to end this video properly and see you guys in the next one. Peace.